Hi, it's Carrie. In today's 5 Minute Friday, I wanted to show you some fun things that you can do with Lens.org. I wanted to thank at the Searcher UK on Twitter for giving me the idea to do some videos about Lens.org. It's a really great site that searches patents, scholarly works, and profiles. I've mostly used it to search scholarly works, but when I was investigating it today, I found profiles, and it was just really fun. So let me walk you through that. We'll click on the Profiles tab here. Here you're going to find people who have an ORCID. That's the Open Researcher and Contributor ID. And you can also select that these are ORCIDs that have associated works. So to show you what that means, if I looked for Dr. Anthony Fauci, and I have this only profiles with associated works, and I click search, Dr. Fauci won't come up, probably because he doesn't maintain his ORCID profile. If I try this again, but I unclick it, and I'll click search, we do get Dr. Fauci, and if we click on him, we can see that it's going to pull in data about his research output, but there's nothing here that's been input by him on his ORCID profile. So if you were this person, you would link to ORCID by signing in with your ORCID. Let me show you myself just because I'm familiar with that. I'll go back to the lens.org and we'll go back to profiles. I do have an ORCID and I do keep it maintained and I'll search for myself. I found that it was best to search for first name, last name, or last name, first name, but at least that information, just the last name probably won't work. And here we get me. I know that's me, so I'll click on it. And actually, I logged in today and added a profile picture. I'll probably change that when I get some new headshots. But for now, that's me. It takes a minute to load my profile. I guess it's pulling from all its data. And here we have some nice summary stats on the side. So scholarly works, we can limit to that. And they're down here. They're sorted by the highest cited work. So I, I noticed that these weren't in chronological order. I didn't see a way to sort them by any other manner, so we're just looking at the high, most highly cited works in descending order. If we hover over the summary statistic, then we get an explanation. So 40% of my works are open access. 81% of my works are published with more than one affiliated institution. H index of 18, that means I have 18 papers that have been cited at least 18 times, and 4,059 works have cited work that I have been co-authored or authored on. I don't have any patents, so that makes sense to me. Here's my graph of scholarly works and citations, and then this is the information that it's pulling from my ORCID. So I had filled this out on my ORCID, and that's where this is coming from. Also, my education, my co-authors, mentions was kind of interesting because if I looked here, if I looked for tweets, and I can see, oh, okay, libgirl09 tweeted this with 947 followers, I can look through here and say, oh, wow, this one had 5,426 followers. Oh, wow, this one had 6,076 followers. Which tweet was that? I'll click on it. July 11th, 2018, it opens up to Twitter. It'll show me the tweet. The tweet will include the citation or the scholarly work. So notice that my tweet is tweeting this article, the Clinical Practice Guidelines Methodologic Innovation. So that's where it's getting that from. We'll go back. You have to go back in your browser. That was mentions. There's also Wikipedia articles. I didn't even know I had any things cited in Wikipedia, so let's take a look at that. Makes sense. I'll close it. And there are other mentions here, F1000, video, Google+, Facebook, blog. I have one grant that was listed on my ORCID, so I'm guessing that's where that came from. Yeah, source, ORCID, and then links, that's also from ORCID. So it's pretty comprehensive, pretty interactive. And then we can look at the citing. We can look at my scholarly works here. And the nice thing about these is you can click on any one of these to see it in Crossref, PubMed, on and on. And you can investigate the other authors. So if we clicked on just one, 
We get the record for that article, affiliations, keywords, fields of study, and I think over here there should be links to see if we can find the full text. So overall, the lens is incredibly helpful. Then sign in with your ORCID and you can edit your profile. And if you don't have an ORCID, well then you should probably get one because I think this might take off. It's really nice. There's a couple more things up here in the right hand corner. I can link to Impact Story, which is something that I did not realize was still being maintained. I kind of abandoned it. But it does have some content here from Impact Story. And finally, you can share. When you click on share, you can share it on Twitter, LinkedIn, Facebook, or by email, or copy a link. And you can also follow this person. So if you did find somebody you liked, you have to be signed in. You can follow that person, and then you'll get email alerts on their work. That's today's 5-Minute Friday. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.